I'm in my kitchen during this spring break with my grandson Thomas. And I've just been working really hard to keep him busy, to keep him off of those electronics. Because you know how kids like them electronics. We've already made pap off some cornbread, but now we're going to make magic cookie bars. Thomas said, don't make me talk, so I'm not going to make him talk. But to make magic cookie bars, we're going to start with a cup and a half of graham cracker crumbs. I'm just going to sprinkle them into that cup and a half. Got Thomas, sprinkle, sprinkle that around in the bottom of that of that the 11 by 13 by 9 pan. Yeah, just dump them out and get them kind of evenly spaced around. You do, you can do that. Thomas said, "Don't make me put on an apron, Mima." So, so I didn't make him wear an apron. You, and then just kind of do that. Now we're gonna put a half a stick of butter. It's melted, and we're gonna put that. We probably should have put that in the bottom, but anyway, we didn't. Just kind of, just kind of mix it around, Thomas. Get all them graham cracker crumbs wet, okay? Am I doing it? Not letting you do it. Just. Millie, my little granddaughter, is not a year old yet, so she's not big enough to cook with me yet. So I have to bring the little boys along to help me sometimes. Grab a spoon. See, we, we kind of probably went at this backwards because you probably want to put your melted butter in first. But we'll get it, won't we, Thomas? If we make a mistake, we just fix it. Now, now let's, let's pat it all down. Let me get that off the bottom of your cup. Put all that on your cup. Thomas can do it, but Mimi's got to help him. What? Am I making a mess? Then no, Mimi, you're making a mess. I'm going to help with my fingers. How about that? What are we going to put next, Thomas? Add the next three ingredients. Now that's pretty good. We've got it. We've got it spread in the bottom. We've got it spread in the bottom. Thomas, a bag of chocolate chips. Spread them chocolate chips. Don't eat them. Got to spread them evenly around, all over it. There you go. Now that's good. You got it. Just. Just kind of just get them all now. Put now we're gonna put some coconut. There's a there's a good cup in there. Now sprinkle the coconut. Now sprinkle that around. And I realize now I forgot to chop up the pecan. I'm gonna Thomas. You sit there and wave at them while I chop these pecans real fast. Point over here to me, Thomas. Show them where I'm at. No, stay over there. Now, I should have had that done ahead of time, but now we've got a cup of chopped pecans. We got chocolate chips, coconut. You get you get to spread them. Spread that cup of pecan. All, spreading it all around. This is one of those vintage recipes, but I'm telling you, when it's baked, it's delicious. We're gonna have one more thing. I think I'm gonna help you with this. It's sweet a can of sweetened condensed milk. It's not coming out, Thomas. It's not coming out. <laughs> Here, you you hold it. I'll I'll help. I'll help it. That stuff is thick on this cold day. I know it's spring break, but it's cold out there today in our neck of the woods. And when this bakes at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes that the sweetened condensed milk turns into like a caramel sauce and so you got the chocolate <laughs> you making faces <laughs> so you got 
You've got the chocolate chips that are melty, kind of, and the coconut and the pecans, and then this and the, the graham cracker crumbs. And it's so, so good, even if it is one of them old recipes. Won't that be good, Thomas? Have you ever tasted a sweetened condensed milk off the spoon? Hey, bye. Try it and see, see, taste. You can lift the spoon. Don't put it back in there. It's good? Is it sweet? It is. He's just awful shy. But anyway, me and Thomas are going to put that in the oven. And in about 30 minutes, it'll cook. Then we'll have to let it cool before we cut it. And you can take it home to your brothers. How about that? You going to share with them? You're not going to share? Yeah, you will. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye from me and Thomas.